TV bombshell. The story Seven didn't want you to see. The stars charged. Why it's been kept secret. For far too long, people charged with serious crimes, some against children, have been able to hide behind an out-of-touch law that forbids us from showing their faces and saying their names. But that changed in Queensland today. Now time is ticking before the faceless can be exposed. Among them, two Channel 7 personalities. We can't show you their faces or tell you their names, but we can reveal the heinous crimes two television personalities are accused of committing against children. It's really not good enough that we've got people who are facing serious charges being celebritised on a television show for commercial purposes. A 52-year-old woman is accused of eight counts of rape one sexual assault, 17 counts of indecent treatment of children under 16, two charges of torture, four allegations of assault occasioning bodily harm, two of them whilst armed in company, and two common assault offences. A 49-year-old man charged with seven counts of assault occasioning bodily harm. He tried everything to keep his case in court secret. Can you tell us why you applied to have them held in a closed court? Can you tell us why your client didn't have to appear today? The man's legal team tried to have his name suppressed. We fought that and won. But we still can't tell you who the alleged perpetrators are. Would you be able to tell us what your client intends to do? Will he be defending the charges? When survivors find the courage to come forward and report their darkest secrets, they don't expect to watch television and see their alleged abusers promoted on national TV. For these people to see that the person that they say hurt them being celebrated like that, and, you know, carrying on and being <laughs> celebritised is just so painful. It's just got to be so painful. Child advocate Hetty Johnston. The only focus here is now about the victims, the people who've been harmed. And we have to do everything as a society and each and every one of us to protect them. For now, Queensland legislation protects the Channel 7 personalities. There are only two states left with the outdated law, Queensland and the Northern Territory. It came about because there was a presumption that people would lie about sexual assault, which until proven could destroy a person's reputation. So the Criminal Act was put in place to protect the alleged offender against false accusations. It was devised at a time when there was a prevalent rape myth that women would make up uh, sexual assault complaints. That has well and truly been debunked. Media law expert Malia Saunders. It essentially meant that the public would be denied from knowing whether someone had been charged with a really serious offence, even if the victim, the, the complainant in the case, wanted the matter to be um, aired in the public domain. The Seven Network faced a moral dilemma. Should it take the two accused off air? I know there's commercial um, considerations here, but the most important consideration is the health and well-being of these people who have allegedly suffered enormous harm, incomprehensible to most people. So edit it out or pull it off. We sent questions to the Seven Network, who declined to answer them. Queensland Parliament today finally abolished the out-of-touch law. It needs signing off by the Governor-General before it's enacted in October. The reform means the public can finally know the name of any accused sex offender in Queensland who's been hiding behind the old legislation. That includes the former childcare worker charged with some of Australia's most serious child sex allegations and a high-profile man accused of rape. The changes to the law mean that uh, complainants will be encouraged to come forward and report alleged sexual offences and other witnesses will also be encouraged to come forward with relevant evidence. In the meantime, the Seven show rolls on. But so do the questions. What message does it send to the community to promote two people 
facing serious crimes against children.